Hey guys, today we'll be trying to get a honeycomb from the beehive. So let's get started. I've not upgraded the bee essence, so it's be it's gonna be six minutes and thirty seconds. And let's go. The plan here is not to get hit by any of the obstacles so that we'll have enough time to go through the whole course No! Slight mistake over there, should have let go of the cursor. gotten the flower and we still have 4 minutes remaining four minutes and five seconds now no I hit the wall by accident and I'm down to three minutes and 40 seconds. Three minutes and 30 seconds left do you think i'll be able to make it leave a comment below if you are wondering i'm using my pc to run nox and Open these pocket ends. No, 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 no. Oh, I think that have just deducted a lot of time from our timer. down to 2 minutes and 18 seconds let's do this quick pick up the honeycomb 2 minutes and 10 seconds can we make it two minutes one minute and 50 seconds Forty down to thirty seconds. One minute and thirty seconds I meant. Still counting down. One minute and twenty sixteen. Sixteen seconds.
1 minute and 7 seconds. Can I make it? Down to 1 minute. Oh, 39 seconds. Thirty, twenty-five, twenty-one, fourteen, ten, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two. One. No! No! <laughs> oh! I was... I was that close. Oh, it seems like the honeycomb dropped over here. And do you guys think that I can pick it up without the bees hunting me down? Let me try. Run, run, run! <laughs> Whoa. I've made it. Oh, I thought I've lost it. Seriously. If I've lost it, then... The effort is gone. Now let's keep... Make a space for the hornet. From what I asked around, it's a guarantee Leo for the uh, hornet. So let's do it. And the hornet is right here, the one in the orange color. And let's get going. Hey guys, so I've actually made went closer to the giant hornet and the battle begins. I think I should place a garrison over here so I have more soldiers for the hornet to attack and I, it behaves kind of like the dragonfly so it needs someone to be on the ground before you can actually 
it requires some soldiers and at the ground for it to attack so it will land and then once it attack it will go back flying can cancel the garrison i guess once it's once it's flying you can't attack it so you have to run around and make sure it does not target you and as you can see it landed again so we're gonna attack it and it ran back up flying i'm gonna place the garrison here and recall re recruit more s soldiers from the base and let's hope it's not targeting me attack immediately attack when he lands and as you can see it went up flying again no make sure it does not attack me now attack the giant hornet The garrison I put over there is to make sure that there's ants over there for the giant hornet to target instead of targeting me. It seems like I'm losing quite a few number, quite a number of ants. And we're almost there. Oh, for a moment I thought it, it was targeting me. And it's going down. Attack! Last one. Last round. Last round. We're gonna be able to capture it. That's why we always have keep a spot open in the army now let's go check out the giant hornet in the capturing bay Okay, we are here at the enslaving bay. I think that's what it's called. Slave's chamber. And 13, 11, 10, 9, 8. After this, I'll have a giant hornet in my army of creatures. Yes. Okay. Let's check it out. Dragon is right beside Dragonfly and it's kind of high on the attack rate. Health is also not that bad. Speed is medium. How does it compare to the Dragonfly? It got higher health compared to the Dragonfly but the attack rate is lower comparing to... The attack rate and the speed is lower comparing to the Dragonfly. Which means Dragonfly is a faster one, but the Hornet is able to tank more damage. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this. And see you next time.